Hi, I'm Oliver and I'm the owner of Specs Collective. We're an online retailer offering a curated selection of luxury eyewear from around the world. Today, I wanted to take a closer look at one of our favorite brands, Maikita. Located in Berlin, Germany, Maikita was founded in 2013. Unlike many other brands, they are an independent eyewear company. Part of what makes Maikita unique is that everything is made in-house using a variety of tools and processes with what they call the modern manufactory. A combination of specialized craftsmanship and adapted new technologies. One of their first designs is the openly displayed spiral hinge which connects the frame front to its arms. This allows the frame to operate without any screws to weigh down the frame. It's innovations like this that make Maikita one of the most lightweight frames available anywhere. Maikita's inventive and independent design can be seen throughout their various collections. Their acetate light collection combines an acetate frame front with their ultralight stainless steel temples. Seen here, the viola offers a semi-etched frame front with hand lacquer details. The Paulson layers acetate rings inside their stainless steel rims. The Mylon collection is 3D printed out of a lightweight polyamide material. These are awesome for the more active individuals because they can withstand more than the average wear and tear. In collaboration with the camera company Leica, design elements from their cameras are brought into eyewear form. And their newest collection, Acetate Renew, uses a combination of bio-based cellulose and certified recycled materials to manufacture their eyewear. Through this new manufacturing process, they are able to replace traditional fossil resources with recycled content, thereby reducing greenhouse gases by up to 30% compared to the conventional manufacturing process. If you wanted to check out the Mikita collection, you can head on over to specscollective.com. Make sure to also like and follow for more eyewear news. Thanks for watching.